Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, Erica Jane, has always lived in some beautiful real estate. If you watched the show, you'd know this, including her mansion in Los Angeles and one in Pasadena. Back in November 2020, after over 20 years of marriage, Erica Jane ended things with ex-husband Tom Girardi, so it shouldn't come as a shock that they had listed their $13 million mansion in Pasadena. Erica then recently downgraded to a Los Angeles home spanning just over 2,000 square feet and boasting three bedrooms and two bathrooms near the Fairfax area. It isn't quite the 10,000 square foot mansion she used to call home, but it's still not too shabby and today we'll check out her places. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Erica Jane is a singer, reality TV star and more, best known for being a cast member on the hit Bravo series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. As you might guess, she's had quite the lucrative career along the way with a current net worth of at least $5 million. While Erica is no doubt a famous housewife, she's also had some success as a singer of dance or club tracks. Back in 2015, Erica joined the cast of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and in the series, she promoted her music and flaunted her wealth, including a claim that she spent $40,000 per month on clothes alone. As Erica was becoming reality famous, her ex-husband Tom was reportedly working to secure loans to his law firm. According to a report in the LA Times, in one loan application during this period, he estimated his net worth to be $264 million. In December 2020, Tom and his law firm were forced into involuntary Chapter 7 bankruptcy. His creditors included the two former law partners who claimed they were owed $750K and $1.5 million respectively. A month earlier, federal lawsuit accused Tom of embezzling millions of dollars owed to clients. For most of their marriage, Tom and Erica lived in that lavish 10,000 square foot Pasadena, California mansion located on 1.7 acres. They listed the home for sale in May 2021 for $13 million. And apparently, if and when the sale is made, all of the proceeds will go towards satisfying the couple's debts. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to take a look at Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane and where she calls home, including her current luxury rental in LA's Hancock Park neighborhood, as well as the former mega mansion she used to share with Tom in Pasadena. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent videos on some of the other Real Housewives like Kyle Richards and the Real Housewives of Atlanta like Sheree Whitfield. We'll link to some at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all after the intro. Nobody can deny that the divorce between Erica Jane and Tom Girardi was pretty ugly, but their former mansion in Pasadena, California, that definitely wasn't. The historic house, which sits on a 1.72 acre lot, was built in 1928 by renowned architect Myron Hunt, who designed many Southern California landmarks, including the now demolished Ambassador Hotel, where Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1968. Erica's former home featured 10,277 square feet, with four bedrooms, nine bathrooms, five fireplaces, a library, a pool, and features like a walk-in vanity room with balcony access. There's even a small chapel for taking care of any spiritual needs. The home was nicely touched with awe-inspiring views overlooking the iconic Colorado Street Bridge. The estate was located at the gateway to Pasadena between the Arroyo Seco and Annandale Golf Club. Entering off the private drive, past the elegant iron gates and into the enchanting motor court, a solid bronze front door leads into a dramatic wood panel gallery. The grand entry is decked out with paintings, a chandelier, and a spiraling staircase up to the second floor. On one end of the entry hall, there's the grand living room designed for high-class entertaining, the covered ceiling, colossal fireplace, floor-to-ceiling windows, and sleek furnishings. Inside, the formal dining room is full of natural light with more floor-to-ceiling windows, a stone-faced fireplace, and gorgeous silk wallpaper. In addition, Erica's former home had a charming wood-paneled library flanked by two fireplaces, one on each end of the room, and it was definitely cozy. Elsewhere in the mansion, you'll find the remodeled kitchen with a breakfast bar and top-of-the-line appliances, marble countertops, and more, while the master bedroom Erica and Tom once shared has a sitting area, cozy fireplace, and private balcony. Not to mention this master suite featured dual dressing areas, one of which has an attached bath with a salon area and glamorous bathtub enveloped in red silk walls. 
I'm gonna guess that one was Erica's. The second dressing area has a bathroom as well. This one with wood paneling, marble detailing, and a stained glass shower. Two more bedrooms are on the home's opposite wing, which also contains a small chapel. An upstairs family room, which could easily be converted into an additional bedroom. The ensuite bathrooms feature his or her sinks. One has a soaking tub with views of the grounds. As glamorous as the interior of the home is, the exterior is also a showstopper. Through a pair of French doors, you can access the backyard where a patio extends out to a series of fountains. This then leads to the pool and a chandelier lit pavilion. Talk about fancy. A walking path stretches around the property, connecting the rose garden, grassy lawns, and multiple patios and seating areas. Of course, the backyard was also fully stacked with amenities like a wet bar, barbecue station, fire pit, and more. It's fit for a real housewife of Beverly Hills, that's for sure. Since closing the chapter of her life with Tom shortly after Erica's divorce, she'd moved into a 1920s Spanish style home, spanning 2,015 square feet of space with three beds and two baths. While it's definitely a downgrade, size wise at least, from her 10,000 square foot Pasadena mansion, it's still full of luxury fixings. There's a wrought iron gate in front of the private courtyard entry, which has strands of cute lights overhead, while inside the home, there are French oak floors throughout. There are also in-ceiling speakers and modern light fixtures. Located in the affluent Hancock Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, Erica's current home boasts an elegant, bright living room with large barrel ceilings and arched windows. Then, the kitchen includes a ton of space, new stainless steel appliances, and a sunny breakfast nook. While the bungalow-style abode is only a fraction of the size of Erica's former home, it's still super impressive. One or both of the guest rooms have been transformed into a glam room dressing room, which makes it suitable for Erica. And her main bedroom here boasts a vintage-inspired marble bath and French doors to the yard. Outside the yard is full of tropical plants, and while it's a small space, it has lush privacy, a quiet dining terrace, and even a dark bottom swimming pool. A detached garage beside the pool has been turned into a Moroccan-inspired open-air cabana, perfect for entertaining or hanging out. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at two of Erica Jane's homes, including her former Pasadena mansion and her new bachelorette pad in Hancock Park, Los Angeles. After seeing the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills stars homes, what did you guys think? Which did you prefer? Of course, the Pasadena home was more glamorous. I mean, those fountains leading to the pool you can't miss. But her Hancock Park bachelorette place is gorgeous as well. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Erica's homes down in the comments. If you haven't, I would love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel too and show your support. We will link you my latest video. Hi guys, it's Kara. Welcome back to my channel. Hey Fitz! The whole gang is joining me today. I'm so lucky. Today I'm going to talk about something different. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery. If I wasn't stuck in Canada like a prisoner, it's somewhere I would love to visit the next time I'm in LA. Of course he sits right in my spot. I love cemeteries. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!